Well, I guess one group of people that would like to be uh, standing in that induction ceremony would be South Africa's newest party, the Capitalist Party of South Africa, or ZACP for short. It's officially launched, and as its name suggests, the party seems to stand for capitalism and the free market. No brainer there. Well, it aims to put an end to what it says is the tyranny of incompetence. The party's founding member is uh, Kanfen Pele. Reporter Michael Apple spoke to the leader a little earlier and uh, joins me now. So what are the founding principles? It sounds a bit like the French Revolution. It's equality, liberty, fraternity, uh, private property rights, uh, freedom of expression, the right to work, the rule of law, uh, and free markets and firearms. Talk to me about the firearms, because that's interesting, isn't it? Because it involves female victims in this country. It does. Yeah. So there is an acknowledgement amongst the party that it's impossible to root out uh, the high levels of rape in South Africa. So instead of putting all the reliance on police officers, because they are all on the criminals to stop it, you introduce gun training in schools for all female learners. And once they have gone and they're competent at a school level, they can do their competency license after that and then they can go and register for a firearm you register or you license the person not the firearm it's the other way around at the moment and the interesting thing about that is it might really find some resonance in this country i think it mm. certainly might i think the the numbers are staggering mm. in terms of femicides in terms of rape in terms of violence against women so their main theory is once you have all the young ladies of South Africa firearm competent, you as a potential rapist have no idea who is carrying a firearm in their handbag. So who are the founders then? It's Canton Pillay. Uh, there are business executives. There's a lawyer, Roman Kabanak. Uh, there are serial entrepreneurs. There's an airline pilot. There's a journalist, Duncan McLeod. It's a whole host of people that see themselves as innovators and disruptors and entrepreneurs mm. and their, their focus is to treat South Africa like a start-up business. And you spoke to, the, to, to Pele a little earlier, that's what we're going to see now? That's correct. Mm. I asked him one main question. A lot of other parties will look at race, BE, uh, credentials, etc. and policy and land. This is what he had to say on those two issues. We're a great nation. We actually get on fantastically on a day-to-day -day basis. Politicians have turned race into a wedge between us. I, I say without hesitation, as South Africans, we care more for each other across the racial divide than any other country that I've traveled to uh, around the world. So race is not an issue for me. Uh, the question of the land, people want jobs first and foremost. Land is not going to give people jobs. We say focus on employment and allow people to buy their own land. Right, you're going to have to talk to me slowly about this one because you tried to explain it to me the other it day is. and I battled a little bit. Some very interesting views on how parliamentarians should be deployed and also paid. So they see um, being in a member of parliament as a, it should be a social service, not a job uh, at finitum uh, position that you create. It should not be an endless job creator because their argument is that 90% of the people sitting in Parliament are unemployable in the private sector. So let it be a social service, your community service if you will. Cut MP salaries by 34%, 34% because for every one rand collected by the state, they pay themselves 34 cents out of that one rand. They're saying it's ridiculous, people, uh, members of Parliament are overpaid, drop it by 34%. And the purple cow? So, cow is a sign of, of <laughs> prosperity in Africa. Purple is the color of prosperity. Uh, and it seems to have, have caught on social media, which is one of the main ways in which they are reaching their audience. People love it. It was trending uh, a few days ago. It is a toddler in terms of political parties. And if you look at the trends map uh, from just two days ago, everybody's talking about cows capitalism and this purple cow party and it's a symbol that will stand out on the ballot paper michael apple